The uh, gentleman from California is recognized. Mr. Chairman, I want to ask you about some of the differences between the facts involving President Biden and President Trump. But before I do, I want to refer back to your opening statement in which you said that you did not disparage the president in your report. But of course, you did disparage the president. Uh, you disparaged him in terms you had to know would have a maximal political impact. You understood your report would be public, right? I understood, based on comments that the Attorney General had made, that he had committed to make as much of my report public as consistent with legal policy and uh, legal requirements. And you could have chosen just to comment on the President's particular recall vis-a-vis -a, -vis a document or a set of documents, but you decided to go further and make a generalized statement about his memory, didn't you? Congressman, I could have written my report, theoretically, in a way that omitted references to the president's memory, but that would have been an incomplete and improper report, and that, that it did not my reflect question, my analysis you could have the written, explanation of my decision. You could have written your report general. with his with comments about his specific recollection as to documents or a set of documents, but you chose a general pejorative reference to the president. You understood when you made that decision, didn't you, Mr. Herr, that you would ignite a political firestorm with that language, didn't you? Congressman, politics played no part whatsoever in my investigative steps. But you understood decision, nevertheless, the didn't you, Mr. Herr? Mr. Herr, you, you, you cannot tell me you're so naive as to, to think your words would not have created a political firestorm. You understood that, didn't you, when you wrote those words, when you decided to include those words, when you decided to go beyond specific references to documents? You understood how they would be manipulated by, by my colleagues here on the GOP side of the aisle and by President Trump. You understood that, did you not? Congressman, what I understood is the regulations that govern my conduct as special counsel. And, and those regulations, regulations those regulations... Me to write a confidential report for the Attorney General... Which you knew would not be confidential. Explaining my decision, and that is what knew, I did, Congressman. Mr. I followed you, the rules. You knew it would not be confidential. I followed them. You knew it would not be confidential, didn't you? Sir, the regulations required me to write a confidential report re explaining my decision to the Attorney General. Which you knew would be released. It was up to the Attorney General which to you, determine which you understood what it would be released. Did you would not? be released consistent with you, DOJ policy. You understood it would be released. You understood it would be released. I understood from the Attorney General's public comments that he would make as much of my report public as he could consistent with legal requirements in DOJ policy. And you policy. also understand DOJ policy that you are to take care not to prejudice the interests of the subject of an investigation, right? That is generally one of the interests that DOJ policy requires that prosecutors respect. And it was your obligation to follow that policy in this report, was it not? It was also my obligation to write a confidential report for the Attorney General explaining completely well, my what decision. What you did write was deeply prejudicial to the interests of the President. You say it wasn't political, and yet you must have understood you must have understood the impact of your words. You must have understood the impact of your decision to go beyond the specifics of a particular document, to go to the very general, to your own personal, prejudicial, subjective opinion of the president, one you knew would be amplified by his political opponent, one you knew that would influence a political campaign. You had to understand that. And you did it anyway. And you did it anyway. And, and, and let me just go... Let me just go to some of the differences here between the President's conduct and Mr. Trump's. In the superseding indictment, uh, on page three, it says that Mr. Trump suggested that his attorney falsely represent to the FBI and grand jury that he did not have documents called for by the grand jury's subpoena. You didn't find anything like that with respect to Mr. Biden, did you? Congressman, I do not have the Trump indictment in front of me, but I need to address something that you said in your prior question. What you are suggesting is that I needed to provide a different version of my report that would be fit for public release. That is nowhere in the rules. I was to prepare a confidential report that was comprehensive and thorough of an What is in the rules, the Mr. General. Herr, what is in the rules is you don't gratuitously do things to prejudice the subject of an investigation when you're declining to prosecute. You don't gratuitously add language that you know will be useful in a political campaign. You were not born yesterday. You understood exactly what you were doing. It was a choice. 
You certainly didn't have to include that language. You could have said vis-a-vis -vis the documents that were found at the university, the president did not recall. There is nothing more common, you know this, I know this, there is nothing more common with a witness of any age when asked about events that are years old to say, I do not recall. Indeed, they're instructed by their attorney to do that if they have any question about it. You understood that, you made a choice, that was a political choice, it was the wrong choice. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Gentleman yields back. The gentleman from Arizona, did, did, did the special counsel wish to respond to that final question? Yes, Congressman. What you are suggesting is that I shape, sanitize, um, omit portions of my reasoning and explanation to the attorney general for political reasons. No, I suggest and, that you and, and not shape your report for political reasons, which is, is what you did. That did not happen, response. Congressman. That did not happen. 